Greetings folks and welcome to New Comic Book Day, August 18th, 2021. I am your host, Coco Smooth. And uh, as usual, this is going to be a late night thing because work just gets in the way of things, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so, let me start off with DC stuff. We got Clown Hunter number one. This is uh, the Batman Secret Files Clown Hunter number one. This is the variant cover. Um, I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'll go with this. Why not? Clown Hunter. And uh, Batman Catwoman issue six. Picked it up mostly just to finish this up plus the Jim Lee covers. I mean... Jimri <laughs> Jimri Nimi Nimi Nabni I just can't believe it, you know. Um, Catwoman 34, I believe this is Friss and cover. Couldn't resist because I like, wow, that's good. But I'm a cover A person too, so I made sure to get the cover A of Catwoman 34. Ram V, you're my only friend. <laughs> and now to the images. The Time Before Time, issue four. Um, yeah, holy smokes, has it really been four months since issue one? Yikes, time goes by hella fast. Next by Image Comics. Second Chances Issue 1. I don't know what this is about. All I know is that I thought the cover looked really good. So I was like, you know what? Yeah. I think I will give this a chance. <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure if I could sing the song for this because it didn't look like Dustin Nguyen. <laughs> All we are is dust in the winds. Art. <laughs> you look like somebody else is for me. I was like, oh, hang on, hang on. Looks more like Jeff Lem you know, Lemire's art. Um, yeah, if I remember correctly, he's also the same guy who did uh, Sweet Tooth. So yeah, I was like, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, it looked very much like Sweet Tooth. <laughs> and Radiant Black, third printing, issue five. I was compelled because it was red and because I also had no idea that <laughs> this was... A, I thought this was issue six. <laughs> but either way, it was. it's awesome because it's red and it looks like the Juggernaut, bitch. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> so yeah, Radiant Black, the third printing might be a thing because this definitely doesn't look like anything before so <clears throat> all right ah somewhere in the middle Marvel got in the middle of this and I picked it up mainly because of star star is a much cooler cap character than I can think of and yeah look she's with the black cat I like this cover this cover is cool I also like this cover too because it's got star the variant edition you know looks pretty pretty good with star in there hmm? thunderbolt love you know what I mean and because this art cover was done by I believe it could be Ji Young or In Hyuk I forget it's one of the two it's gotta be I could be wrong. Watch it be somebody totally different. <laughs> Let's see. I'm kinda curious now. Where the heck is the doggone signature? How do we know? You know what? Let's open up. Is there any covers? Cover artist Brian Reber. Joshua Nisib. Joshua Sway Swabi. Hmm. Well. The game's cover is by NetTees. Mm. 
Welcome player four. Yeah, because it looks like it looks very reminiscent of the stuff that Ji Young Lee and In Hyuk Lee be doing. So yeah, Netties, whoever that is. <laughs> Moonlight 2. Yeah, I just went with the cover A because, well, I don't know about this issue, you know, this this series, to be honest, man. I don't know what it is, you know, I don't I have a whole can't figure out what I'm gonna do with Marvel in general. But the you know, the cover looks sweet. And I already had issue one, so I was like, okay, well. And McNiven's art isn't bad. I came very close to getting the Finch one, but I'm like, I like my original Finch cover stuff from the earlier 2000s, 10-ish years. Those were good. This was last week's issue, but I missed out on it. I decided I was going to pick it up because, well, allegedly it's supposed to be the first appearance of the new costume. So I'm like, hey, looked at the new costume. Yeah, looks gross. I like <laughs> This this old school Miles Morales uh, costume instead, but yeah, Marvel Duel, and uh, pick this up because well, could be a key, but also because I really like this cover. Cover by, and I picked up Miles Morales Annual One Infinite mostly because Miles Morales. Miles Morales, but mostly even more so because of Amulet, who made his first appearance last year, I believe. So, yeah. Amulet. <clears throat> she made her, he made his first appearance in uh, Ms. Marvel of last year. So, <clears throat> here are the variants of the week. I decided I was going to pick up Stanley the Snowman. Um... I don't know what compelled me to do this. I guess it's nostalgia because it said VHS. But I was like, I think I'm going to do this. And I did. <laughs> Stanley the Snowman. <laughs> Next, Eat the Rich. I was going to avoid that issue altogether, but Frizzin, baby. Jennifer Frizzin, baby. I believe this is a book about cannibalism, I guess. And I'm like, okay, well, if it's going to be about cannibals, let it be done in cover by Jennifer Fressen. So, yeah. Last but not least, I picked up the oversized book, God of Tremors. It's a one-shot, a lot of bang for its buck. So I decided, okay, I'll give it a, I'll give it a gander. And I did. I don't. I didn't. I can't. I couldn't tell you um, anything about it quite yet, other than it was highly recommended by uh, Rock and Robbie Billups and pop culture philosophers. So, and he's there. That was his pick of the week. And yeah. So, I usually trust his taste. Usually, sometimes he's off. But you know. And so, yeah, this was an oversized book. I'm glad that they got oversized plastic for this bad boy. <laughs> so yeah, that was my comic book week, new comic book day, uh, you know, for the week for me, new comic book day. So this is probably the big deal. This is the... <laughs> I don't know what kind of following this thing is going to have. <laughs> I hope they make a movie or whatever. And, I, you know, I flip this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to flip my books. <laughs> um, first appearance of the costume. You know, I don't know what appearance has happened in this Moon Knight. Really neat cover. I love Star. And this cover can't go wrong. I like it. It's got star and thing. Radiant black hit or miss. You know. Dustin the win. <laughs> Dustin the win. 
issue 50 looks like it's supposed to be a sender but it's the sender and the sender put together which is why it's like this <clears throat> second chances might be a thing who knows probably not the cover looks really good time before who knows we'll see what it, you know where that story goes Ron B. Catwoman I have a feeling this is almost the gonna be the equivalent of classic Jim Ballant style stuff you know from the 90s I love that Jim Ballant era uh, losing steam losing popularity even if it's a black label clown hunter James Tynan is leaving his uh Batman stint to do Substack, so there goes our specs. Unless somebody else can properly write these characters up, I don't know. So to me, James, I think you made a really bad choice. Um, yeah, I'm glad you cashed out. You got you got money now, but your legacy by abandoning your DC projects, just like Hickman abandoning the X-Men stuff. Or, you know, who the heck's going to continue to write what you originally planned out, you know? I wanted to see where it was going to go, but apparently it's just none of it's going to go anywhere. And it's not good for the industry at all because people want closure. People want, you know, and this, these, these kind of, eh, you know, and no plan to, to let somebody else into your overall scheme of things I don't know DC Marvel you guys should really 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 consider you know how you proceed especially the editorial staff you bunch of no planning no how to you know no visionary kind of situation having leadership up there you guys need to get your act together because the industry suffers all right just saying, because, you know, honestly, <clears throat> I'm not very excited to pick up, you know, certain books anymore because I've gotten shy as a result of, like, just straight mismanagement. You know what I mean? So, at any rate, I don't mean to be a downer, and this is supposed to be just about New Comic Book Day. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for New Comic Book Day. I am your host, Coco Smooth, and until next video, ciao.